It's one of the closest races in the country. And tonight, for one time only, U.S. Senate candidates Sherry Beasley and Ted Budd will debate each other. Control in Washington is at stake. Capitol reporter Michael Heidland is live in Raleigh tonight with a closer look at what we can expect tonight for this debate. Michael. And this is the only chance we're going to have to see the two of them together, with recent polling showing that this race is a dead heat. After a campaign that started almost two years ago, the leading candidates in North Carolina's U.S. Senate race will face off Friday night in their only debate. Sherry Beasley, a Democrat and former Chief Justice of the state Supreme Court, is running against Republican Congressman Ted Budd. And Joe Biden is doing everything to make things worse, and those are the policies that Sherry Beasley would support. I am the one who's been on the front line, and Congressman Budd really is all talk and no action. With the inflation rate remaining high and concerns about a recession, Congressman Budd has tried to focus on the economy and crime in the final months of the campaign. The Supreme Court's decision this summer to overturn Roe v. Wade marked a turning point in the race as Democrats sought a new way to galvanize voters as many Republican-led states hurried to restrict abortion access. While Beasley has raised much more money than Bud, a report this week by Politico showed the Republicans have spent about twice as much as Democrats overall on ads. It wasn't clear until a few weeks ago whether there would even be a debate, as Bud refused to participate in any during his primary, and the candidates went back and forth about the logistics of this one. David McLennan at Meredith College says he expects the candidates to play it safe. Because of the advances in technology, we've seen candidates have so many more ways of reaching their voters. Um, and so it's probably reduced the importance of debates. But yet, I still think I think there's something important to the democratic process to see candidates together. Spectrum News 1 is hosting the debate at 8, and we'll have a wrap up of what comes out of it coming up new tonight at 11. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, it should be interesting. Thank you.